folks, Nan Bajani Tierra here. I'm at the Whole Foods Market in Chapel Hill, Monday, May 14, 2012. I'm going to do a walkthrough with my Inspector Alert Geico counter. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of narrative. I'll just uh, pacify the foods. Um, the background here typically runs between 30 and 31 CPM the last month or so. We've seen it as low as 23, 24 stable but recently it's been running in the 30 to 31 CPM range. I'm filming this. One person handling both the Geiger and the camera, so please excuse me. I'm just gonna pass over. I'm actually at the entrance to Whole Foods. I'm just gonna pass over some things. I'm not going to cycle a bunch of times. This is not a scientific study. If I wanted more accurate data, I'd be buying these items and bringing them home, putting them on a 100-minute time count in a more controlled setting. I'm going to walk over here to the tomatoes. And then I'll walk through the produce section. And it's going to go do a clockwise walk through the produce section, or counterclockwise rather. Peppers are from Florida. And I'm going to select a few produ produce items. I'm not going to check everything because of the upload time required. Upload to YouTube. These are summer squash from Florida. And I'm going to go over to the greens. California beets here. Excuse me. This is kale from California. get to the base of the kale, um, typically we find uh, hot particles near the root area of um, greens and root vegetables, right at the soil surface, in the case of carrots. There's some California leeks. I can't get super close to them because of the way they're stacked. from California. Excuse me. 
California beach. for the beach and the rutabagas. These are um, Argentine pears. Just run the gago over them. Turns out most of the ag land in Argentina is potentially impacted by the two nuclear plants there. So I'm now no longer assuming safe from Argentina. Number two, I'm going to try some Washington apples. Typically the fruit is, the hot particles are found near the leaf area where, at the top of the fruit, where the water gathers when it rains. Um, I can't tell you for sure, ma'am, because this isn't actually a scientific, but these are, the, these clicks are radioactive dis disintegrations. Yes, it is. I shop here with my Geiger counter. That's smart. So you, um, you tell where there's little, little tiny Yeah, what you have is these hot particles land on the outside of the food. That's the easiest thing to detect. And in the case of these apples, see where the stem is? That's where it hangs off of the tree. It's the top part of the fruit. Anything that collects water or near the root surface. Is like, it coming out of the air or is it coming out of treatments? It's coming out of the soil and the air, dry deposition, and also it's landed on the soil and then it splashes. General, general pollution. A lot of it's, um, uh, we've got a lot of nuclear bomb testing that's occurred historically in the U.S. and oh, yeah. around the world. Oh, yeah. Um, we have a nuclear power plant 15 miles from here, maybe. Right down there. Right. Our neighborhood plant. And also we have Fukushima that yeah. is still right. emitting. Exactly. Hmm? I know about it. Yeah. So there's some of us that shop with these. And actually, I'm just running a video right now just because people keep asking me to shoot a video. These are California navel oranges. I don't really have an opinion, Gal. I just, because this isn't really a scientific study. Um, this is elevated over background potentially. I can't tell you for sure because the range that you see, um, even when you're testing air, these numbers are within the range except for um, once you get about 50 or so counts per minute, that's outside of what we typically see on air in the background um, category. So I. The potatoes from Florida last time I was here were quite hot. What were they? Potatoes. It's not something I usually get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, folks, I'm going to shut the video up here because we're at nine minutes, which is probably about five hours of upload time on YouTube. Many blessings.